Dave knows how. In this video series, we're going to cover adding a third function valve kit on a budget. And we're going to see just how inexpensively we can add a third function kit. I didn't like the WR Long kit. I like this round handle better, which is something that I designed and came up with. Um, the other handles just kind of turned me off. So that's what kind of pushed me in a direction of creating my own and to see how much money I could save. So we actually put this third function kit in for like less than $500. And um, we ended up we spent a little over $500, but we added in a feature that does not come with any of the other third function kits that actually cost us about $100. So, um, you know, stay tuned for the series. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it and get something out of it. I think it turned out really nice. And um, this is our bank of relays to control the circuit, and we're going to go over that too. Okay, so here's a rundown of some parts. Uh, this is the shifter knob that we turned into a function control switch. Bought it on Amazon. These are the relays that we got on Amazon. And we're going to run down... Um, all the numbers on these towards the end of this and show you what it cost total so next item is some items we bought from agri supply which consisted of the hydraulic hoses and um, a hydraulic quick coupler two sets and next on the list is the top item is the actual push button that we mounted into that um, control knob that we made. And the bottom item is an angle connector for the hydraulic hose. We ordered six of those, but we only used one, so didn't really need six. Um, this is a summary of items that we got from Summit Hydraulics. It consisted of numerous items that we needed, uh, hydraulic fittings, and the locking, load locking, double piloted uh, locking valve. This is the extension cord that we got from Lowe's to actually um, run the wire for the entire system, and all of the electrical connections came out of this one roll of wire. These are the actual third function valve that we got from Northern Hydraulics. They can be ordered through Amazon or picked up at a Northern Hydraulics store. These are the item numbers for the control solenoid and the subplate. These are two more additional fittings that we bought off of Amazon and if you pause the video you can see the uh, numbers and everything on what these fittings are we'll probably post some links now this is a summary of all those things we just looked at uh, here's one total for that group of items 143.84 uh, the next page is going to be a summary of the other items which came to 120.69 most of all of this includes tax and shipping there may be one or two items that i failed to add the shipping to but the shipping on none of this was very much um it was pretty reasonable a lot of it was free shipping uh here again some more of those same items of uh, different items that we showed previously and this is what they cost uh, total cost with tax and shipping and where they came from a lot of it from Amazon and still more here on this page 
and on the next sheet we're going to look at the totals of all this together and see what the final price ended up being and we're looking at $543.98 um, we may be off by you know $10 $15 uh, but that's highly unlikely um, I think I pretty much got everything uh, listed here that we used um, under $550 and keep in mind we used a double piloted locking valve which actually cost $99.99 so a hundred bucks of that is for that valve and that specific item does not come with other third function kits like the ones sold by WR Long, Land Pride, or any of the other manufacturers. Um, I've looked at all of them. None of them come with that locking valve. So uh, if you subtract that hundred bucks off of there, we're looking at under um, $450, less than $450 to completely put the third function valve in all the wire hoses everything um, that's a pretty good price um, the cheapest option that I've seen online is this option right here and as you can see it does not come with any hoses whatsoever so you still have to buy all your hoses to go with this option but if you don't have a way to make your own uh, control button for your loader control valve like I made mine out of that cue ball um, this comes with one so that may be an option for you it also comes with a mounting bracket which I did not include in my estimate of the cost because I used scrap steel that I had laying around the house and just welded up that angle bracket and mounted it on there. It wasn't a big deal to me to do that because I had everything right there to do it with. The Land Pride, as you can see here, is quite expensive compared to um, the other option, the previous option and the option that I took, the route that I took. Um, the land pride the benefit of the land pride is they have a custom made subplate um, so you can plug right into the top of it with both of your lines which is nice but is it worth that much price difference in my opinion no it's not this is the everything attachment site and they're selling the WR long. They're giving you a $50 discount if you buy an implement. Um, the price is competitive to what they're going for. But to me, it, I saved a lot of money by not having to buy this. And finally, I just wanted to show this. If you want to put together a system like I put together mine and use the valve from Northern Hydraulics and you can't make your own joystick control this may be an option for you this joystick control has the button and everything there it's 150 bucks um, is it going to work out to be the same I haven't done the math you'll have to check that out for yourself well that's it for this video and I hope that you enjoyed the video I hope you will find this information helpful and follow along with my series coming up on adding a third function valve on a budget and you know if you want to add a third function valve to your tractor on a budget and follow along with my video series I'm sure you will succeed in doing so and you will get to enjoy actually doing the work yourself. Um, I think I pretty much covered everything. 
but um, you can watch the series and decide for yourself if this is a, a venture that you want to take. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.